Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here with the Zenfone Zoom from ASUS, the phone with a three times optical zoom camera. I'm pretty excited to test it out in real world situations, but gonna go ahead and open this guy up, show you what's in the box, and also give some impressions on it. Let's get started. So Zenfone Zoom, you see a circle that looks pretty similar to the back of the device. You'll see that in just a second. Got some stickers. You have what looks like the strap. So you do get a strap as well that you can attach to your phone. So when you take pictures, etc., you can kind of put it through your wrist in case you accidentally, the phone accidentally slips out of your hand, etc. Here's the phone. Let's go ahead and take the packaging off of it. Throw that to the side. Uh, a lot of weight to it, actually. A decent amount of weight to it. Um, I know it has a 3000 milliamp hour battery along with this camera with three times optical zoom. So it's going to add some bulk and some weight to it. Nothing too terrible or crazy. I'm going to go ahead and press and hold the power button. All right. So it seems like the phone is probably dead. So I'm going to charge it up after I show you what else is in the box. Looks like we got some headphones. Let's take a little closer look at these. I'll let you know how they are in my full review. Got a little angle to them as you can see. A little bit different, but I will test them out for sure. We have a little extra earbuds as well. You have an AC adapter. I know it does have fast charge capabilities. A little bulky AC adapter. And then what looks like a micro USB cable. Fairly short, nothing too long, out of the ordinary. And then below this should be some booklets. And it is, so lots of booklets actually. Phone, warranty card, user guide and then uh, user got in a different language. So that's about it. Let me go ahead and charge this guy up and I'll be right back. Okay, so while we wait for it to charge just a little bit, let's talk about design. So you do have a 5.5 inch display. You have some capacitive buttons down at the front, decent sized chin down at the bottom. Flipping it on over, see a little bit of a bump right here. My guess is that would be to protect the camera so it doesn't sit flat on the camera. And of course, very prominent on the back. With that three times optical zoom, you do have to pack a lot in there. Uh, with the LED flash, it looks like laser autofocus. And then the camera itself, you have a speaker grill that's on the back as well. Down at the bottom here, you have where you will feed that strap through on the bottom left. And then this bottom right, the back is actually replaceable. So you can get um, various backs. Let's go ahead and pop this out. It's actually pretty difficult to pop off. And there we go. Obviously, uh, it'll get easier over time, but here is the back where you can put your SIM card and also your micro SD card slot. I believe up to 128 gigs of storage in your micro SD card slot, so that's pretty promising. And then the speaker right here, that would be a good idea of what the size is. And then on the right side here, let's take a look. We've got a couple dedicated buttons, so a recording button, what looks like, and then also a camera button, which... If I'm feeling it right, it has a halfway point for focus, and then pressing it all the way will probably take the picture. On the right side here, it looks like uh, also labeled, probably for zooming, um, the, and also volume rockers, of course, and then, of course, the power button right there. Up at the top, just a microphone, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and absolutely nothing along the left side. All right, charge the battery for a while, and I'm back. One thing I noticed is while holding the phone normally, it's a little bit uncomfortable with that bump on the back. I'm not sure if I'll get used to it or not, but we'll see come the full review. But anyways, I'm going to skip through all this stuff, only make note if it's something out of the ordinary. Something that popped up, Google Drive promotion of 100 gigs of free storage. I'm going to skip through that. And then looks like you can send them crash logs, etc., to help uh, your experience. Setup complete. I'm going to hit check. And it takes us to the home launcher. And of course, Asus using their Zen UI launcher, which was familiar on the Zen Phone 2. Um, swiping down, it's saying that it's going to open up searching. So that's an option within the stock launcher, of course. Uh, looks like there's a lot of apps added. So you'll see apps for you, a whole folder for that. Before I get into that, though, I mentioned this on social media. It looks like there's a software update available. I'm not going to install that just yet. After this video, I'll install it. But I want to make a note of how much storage is available right out of the box. 64 gigs, it looks like available, you have 53.56 gigabytes. Something I'm going to start doing every unboxing, just so you can kind of see before I install anything. Anyways, let's jump into settings real quick. You can swipe down twice or with two fingers to get to these quick toggles. Going back into settings, go to about, it is on, only on Android 5.0, and the Zenfone 2 is still on, I believe, 5.0. 
I don't even know if I got the 5.1 update. So just kind of make note of that. Uh, I haven't heard anything from Asus about that update just yet, or at least Marshmallow coming to this device. Now, when it comes to all this bloatware, you should be able to uninstall it. Let's go ahead and go into our app drawer. It looks like you can smart group by app, rearrange, okay. Um, let's go into Clean Master. Let's say I don't want that. Looks like it's uninstallable, which is real good to see. You want to be able to, it's okay if they include a ton of bloatware. I guess that's kind of how they subsidize it and decrease cost, but you want to actually be able to uninstall it. So TripAdvisor, let's go ahead and uninstall that as well. So that's good. Looks like overall the bloat can be uninstalled. But now let's get into the main thing. That would be the camera. So loading it up for the first time. Uh, physical shutter button lets you know about that. Half press to get focus. As I mentioned earlier, low light. Press the owl button to help with low light. Touch focus anywhere. And remember photo locations, no thank you. So let's just go ahead and snap a quick picture right away. I'm going to go ahead and use the button. So I'm going to focus and press it all the way. And it took a picture. So let's go ahead and check that picture out. Zoom in on this green guy, not too bad at all. But now let's test out the zoom function. Let me grab something, actually, something a little bit bigger to put in the viewfinder. So here we go. I'm going to use the, I believe the volume rockers should zoom, and they are. So pressing and holding on it, it's going to zoom all the way up. It's a little bit, uh, I guess, I don't want to say laggy, but a little delayed in a sense because it is optical zoom. So if I zoom all the way into three times, you'll see there's a little bit of delay between the zoom and your gesture. But that's not a big deal because obviously with optical zoom, you're not going to lose image quality. And let's snap a picture while zoomed in a little bit. Take a look at it. I mean, it looks just fine. Good lighting condition. So lots more to come in the full review, of course, when it comes to the camera. Now, taking a look at the camera with the camera application open, you see the laser autofocus blinking right there. I'm going to actually zoom in with the power button so you can kind of look at the lens. It moves slightly. It's not very noticeable, but you can definitely see it moving inside of the lens, zooming in and zooming out. But anyways, that's just about it. When it comes to the Zenfone Zoom, everything I really did want to try out. It feels pretty smooth, but it's right out of the box. You're going to have to give me some more time to let you know if it's actually going to be smooth in real-world performance situations. Also, going to try out this camera more. Lots more to come in my full review, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you're notified. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. All links in the description of the video below. Oh, and Snapchat, too. I've been using that a lot more, so follow me there at QBKing77. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.